Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to create this slider effect. Let's begin. Before we begin in this tutorial, let's go to the description of this video and download the exercise file and open it in Figma. So in the exercise file, you can find all the assets to follow me in this tutorial. So let's begin by creating a new page and pick the frame tool and select iPhone 14 and 15 Pro Max. Next, let's pick a frame and create one frame inside the main frame that is half the size. Rename it background. And let's drop this image, command C and command V. All right. Now let's pick the rectangle shape and let's draw a shape over our image. And let's give it a orange color bright one and then for the opacity it would be 60% let me change this to a bit darker all right, and let's make it 80%. All right, we need that contrast. Now, let's go and pick a nav bar, command C, and select the main frame, command V, align to the top and to the center. Also, let's go and create a new text layer. Let's type in today dishes. And here, let's go and scale it up. And we'll add a date. regular and 16 font size now let's go back to assets and select tabs and paste it here under our title all right now let me for this background, I will give it more height. All right now, let's pick all three. Command C and select the main frame and past here. Now let's move until we can see the first plate. All right now. If we in clip content, we see we have three dishes. Let's clip again. One last thing. Let's pick this carousel navigation. And let's pass it here. All right. Let me change this. Yeah, like that and the first thing we're gonna do is to duplicate this screen and select the three dishes and move them 
until the second dish or plate will be centered on my frame now here let's open those three blocks and select just the plate image hit command or control to select all three and let's go to rotation and rotate 90 degree all right if we unclip now here let's change but yeah let's go here and let's give it a width of 13 pixels and the second knob let's give it 70 pixel and change its color to darker gray and the first knob to a lighter gray all right so this is the activated product also this is the activated product the first one so this will be a navigation also we want to rotate our background to rotate our background just select the image in our background and click and rotate also move it a bit down all right now let's go and duplicate this a second time to navigate to our third plate so select product one two and three and move them to the left until the last plate will appear all right now select each image of each product command and select one by one and go to the rotate and give it a rotation of 180 all right now for the background let's rotate again something like that and also for the navigation let's give it 13 and a light gray and for the last one 70 width and a dark gray all right now to connect all this and make the animation let's go to prototype and me remove the device and let's go and pick the first plate and connect it with the first screen and let's go and pick on drag smart animate gentle 800 millisecond all right now we'll do this also for the knobs the second one let's connect it with the second screen and let's keep it at on click smart animate gentle 800 pixels now for the third knob select it and connect it with the third screen and let's keep the same configuration now for our second screen let's select the plate layer as you can see in the layer it is named product 2 and let's connect it with the third screen on drag this time smart animate gentle and now also connect this same plate with the previous screen if we connect that screen with the previous will go back all right so also 
let's connect those this first knob with the first screen on click smart animate and also here the third with the third screen on click smart animate gentle now for the last plate select it and connect and pick on drag and for the knobs the second one with the second screen on click and also the first knob with the first screen all right on click smart animation now let's go to our prototype let's play all right so if we click and drag the plate will rotate the background rotate and this will appear second plate if we go back it will work the same all right now the second screen doesn't work on drag we did a mistake so here I must have let's change it on drag all right so that's working now in the navigation if I click it is working great all right that was it for our carousel